a very physical team we're playing. And when it comes down to it, who's going to be the most physical for four quarters straight? So long as I'm where I'm at when I'm supposed to be there, I mean, that, that gives us an advantage as a team. What have you seen from them against their edge rushers and, and just their defense front? Like I said, they're pretty physical, you know, so coming into this game, we know we're going to have to play hard, and it's a big rival game. So we know we, we're expecting our best, and they're going to get ours. And I see it no other way. Have they been playing Rocky Top in practice or here this week? Uh, yeah, we play uh, the team, some, uh, the songs when we do uh, crowd music. What do you think of it? Nah, uh, I'm not going to see that. <laughs> Trevor, what are, what are some of the things that they've done this week to drive home the rivalry in terms of playing old highlights in the facility or, or just things that they've talked about? So we have a rivalry one-on-one -on -one during camp. And that's kind of like, since they played the video during camp of like all the teams prior to us being here, how the rivalry is, I mean, that's just, it, it's, you know, the teams like Georgia, Tennessee, Florida State, LSU, those teams, the SEC teams, like we kind of have a chip on our shoulder right now. And that's just something that we want to focus on moving forward is we have to dominate in every aspect of, the, of our game from here on out. Have you seen some of the big plays that beat Tennessee over the years that they played those for you? And, and is there one that stands out to you? I mean, being a returner, I've noticed that that always was a big return in these big rivalry games. So, man, I'm hoping, I mean, we've been working hard at it. So, I'm hoping I can get a return going and just you know, still a show from there. Trevor, how's it been having Kingsley back this week? And, and what does that do for the line and the offense in general? I mean, he's kind of like that field general when it comes to the line. He's communicating every play. So just having him back, you know, you have somebody on the field that's, I can say, going to be able to make things more comfortable for them. So, you know, they're able to communicate more, you know, and he kind of can have their back if they mess up somewhat and vice versa. You know, they just having him back on the field, I say, has been great. You know? More holes in practice this yeah, week? Definitely. <laughs> what are you seeing from Graham? I mean, he's dialed in. He's a leader. You know, guys, young guys can come to him and have a lot of young guys playing. That's why I say this, but they can come to him, ask him anything, and he's willing to help. He'll go the extra mile. He'll sit in a personal film session with you to make sure that you understand everything so you can play at your best and as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Eugene Wilson impressions? Yeah. No, what are your, what are your crazy, impressions? Crazy athlete, man. I mean, speedy too. You know, I thought I, I thought I came in and was like one of those guys, but then I sit back and watch him and I'm like, dang, man, he's like he's done this before. How catchable the ball this ring so Oh, it's right there. It's, it's right where you need it. You know, he's very accurate. You know, and that's something he takes pride on. And even if he comes, he throw a ball too low, and we still catch it. He's gonna come apologize for it. And that's just the standard he holds himself to.